Right, for UMass, the point guard and big factor, Derek Kellogg. Kellogg to Williams, against Williams, off the glass for Kellogg. Good job with the rebound. Remember this guy? Kellogg. He played point guard for the UMass Minutemen when they were on top of the college basketball world. It was a great time and, and a great place to be at UMass, and it was, um, it was fun. I mean, it was just a fun time to come play. He's got to shoot this shot, Kellogg. He's got to knock down at three. Kellogg. We were going and playing the best teams across the country on a weekly basis and competing with those guys and more often than not beating them. We got a good look at the three. There it is. Well, guess what? He's back. Well, coming home and, and getting back into an area where you grew up and played your high school and college basketball and, you know, have some great memories uh, back here in this Western Mass area. And, and to be away for, for a while, you appreciate all the great things that this area has to offer. And after spending the last eight seasons as an assistant coach at the University of Memphis, Springfield native Derek Kellogg decided... Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. I'm excited for the opportunity to, to coach here at UMass. According to Derek Kellogg, he had a premonition during his playing days here at UMass that he would someday be the team's head coach. And now here we are, 13 years after Kellogg graduated from UMass, and he'll be sitting in this very seat less than 20 minutes from now, coaching UMass in its home opener. It seems surreal, but for Derek Kellogg, it's very real. It is, after all, a dream come true. It's very interesting that you say that in... You know, there was times where I was in the cage or also at the Moan Center where I always loved the way that Coach Cal and his assistant coaches kind of carried their business and went about things. And I did have a premonition that someday I would be sitting in that seat and, and trying to fall in the lines of Coach Cal and Bruiser and, and Baino and John Robick. And it's uh, kind of been a lifelong dream of mine to be a, a head basketball coach and even better being here at the University of Massachusetts. Let's go, you Let's go, you for the job. I was so excited to uh, come back home and my wife and, and newborn. Uh, we were excited for that 18 and a half hour drive from Memphis <laughs> up to UMass and we, we took it about as quick as we could. I think um, Maximus, our son, was like four days old and we had him in the car rolling up to uh, UMass. So, to say the least, we were both excited to get back in an area where we call home. Derek was born and raised in Springfield, Massachusetts, and he's a 1991 graduate of Springfield Cathedral High School, where he was a two-time All-State selection in basketball and an honorable mention for McDonald's All-American. But for Derek, the Cathedral experience was more than just basketball. But the whole experience of Cathedral, I, I would say is second to none nationally. Um, from what you get athletically, academically, and socially, and the type of people and the beliefs that they have, um, it's, it was an unbelievable place to go then, and, I, and from all that I hear from everybody, it's an unbelievable school to go to to this day. Of course, you can't talk about the Cathedral days without mentioning a certain coach. Kevin Kennedy was more than just a basketball coach to Derek Kellogg. He was his mentor. Played for a great high school coach in Kevin Kennedy, who um, you know fostered a lot of the beliefs I had coming into college and also now as a, as a college coach. He's always been the type willing to work hard enough and pay his dues to get what he wants. And I, I was very proud of him, and I think all of Springfield actually was very proud of him. Now, as time has gone on, and he's a 35-year-old with a family and all that stuff, um, it's really neat to be able to stay in touch with him. Um, I get to go to practice maybe once a week and kind of see him and go and watch practice. And it's really kind of neat for me, having coached him at one point in time, now see him coaching somebody else. So there's an awful lot of neat benefits to that. And it's Kellogg's faith, along with his knowledge of basketball, that landed the Springfield native his dream job, coaching the very team he used to play for. Let's go through fist. Through fist, you cut. You said this guy. Oh, 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 he's not cut. He's popping on the through fist. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think that's great for our program to have a, a face that people are familiar with, that remember me maybe as a player or as a person who just grew up in Springfield and, and was a good person and a good kid who did things the right way. And now it's Derek's job to pass along everything he's learned to guys like junior guard Ricky Harris. Rebound! Ricky Harris! 
when we start to buy into what Coach Kellogg is saying, understand that he knows what he's talking about. He's been here. He's experienced everything. And he just wants to give it back to us. Like, let us experience what he experienced. Senior forward Tony Gaffney agrees. I heard that they were considering hiring Coach Kellogg, and I know his history, and I know how he played here. I was a student here. Uh, I mean, I was excited, you know. Uh, it was, I, I couldn't have asked for anyone better, and I'm enjoying playing for him. Cut, Tony, cut, cut. The next goal is to take the program to the next level, which is compete at that level every year to have the Mullen Center jam-packed every night. And at some point, hopefully compete for the Final Four or a Final Eight or, you know, something along those lines and maybe a national championship. Let's go, you man! all stars tonight, baby. Together on night. One, two, three, let's get it. Reporting from Amherst, I'm A.J. Vatone for Real to Real.